OK, so let's continue about the list index. So we, we just saw an example and also what does the slices means. Uh, so you can access items in the list by telling pass on the position of that, that item, or sometimes we call it index. Uh, so for example, here we have a list. We have one, two, three, four, and also five. OK, so those are separate by comma. And the position, remember the, in list, the, the order matters. So the first item is number one. The second item is number two. Uh, the la last item is number five in this list. OK, so um, the index starts at zero. OK, so this may sound like um, interesting, but in, in Python, index starts at zero so that means the number one's index is zero number two the index is one number three the index is two number four index is three and number five index is four uh, we can also use negative index so the negative index starts from the right to, to the left so if it's starting from left okay so it will start from zero uh, if we start from the right to left, the index will be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. OK, uh, so if we start from the, the last one, the index starts at negative 1. If we want to get the first one, so the index is num 0. OK, and we can also get the part of the uh, items so if you want, want to make a slice, you can specify the first index and also index of the first item and also the last item that you want to work with. However, uh, remember that the last item, the index of the last item you specified will not be included uh, in your result. OK, so what does that mean? So for example, uh, if we have an uh, a list, let's say one, two, three, four, five. And if we want to make a, a slice, so if we say okay, we want from one, comma, and also two. And also if you remember the indexes, in index will be zero, one, two, three, four. So the result will be just number two. Okay, so it will get the, the number two. That is because the index of number of one is number two. And the second, uh, the, in, uh, the index two will, will not be included. OK, so if you want to make a different slice, so let's say if you want to make slice of one, two, three. OK, so that will have number two number three but we will not have number four okay so we all have the result will be two and also three okay and if you don't specify anything in front of the uh, column so for example if you just see this one and until three so that will start from the first item so the first item the second item third item but we will not have the uh, this fourth item so the result will be one two and three okay so that is the result so let's look at the examples that in python so first let's say we want our current list so our current list is the first item is number six and number two three four five so if we print the first item, so my list, the first item is number, the index is zero. So if we run it, you can see we get six. So that's the first item. And if we print index one, so that will get the second item. Okay, so that will get the second item. And if we print the negative one, so that will give us the last item. OK, so that is number five. OK, and 
Uh, let's also try uh, the slice. So for example, if we want to get the f first one until the third, the, the second one until the third one. So remember, this is the index one, this index two, and this is index three. So the result will be two and three. So that is the index one, index two, and index three will not be included in the result. And if we don't specify the index here, so it will report everything and until this index. So it will report everything before, actually before this index. Okay? And it is the same thing. So if we put three in front here, so it will report everything after this index. Okay? And also remember, the index, the item, this index is always always included. And if you don't specify anything uh, in front or after this uh, colon, you will have the entire index. Uh, you, you will have the entire list. Okay, uh, so that is uh, make a slice of the index. Okay, and unpack. So unpack is uh, another very useful uh, way to get access from each index uh, from the list. So that means that if you know how many items in a list, you can assign each item to a corresponding variable. So for example, in this case, we know that, okay, so in this list, we have two items, letter A and also uh, string A and also string B. We know exactly there are two items, so we can assign each single item to a corresponding um, variable. So here we assign um, string A to variable X and string B to variable Y. Okay, so this is very useful in some cases. Okay, so let's try that one here. So let's say um, X and Y equals, here we define a list A comma list B. So now if we print X, we will have the letter A, string A. And if we print B, oh sorry, print Y, and we will have the string B. Okay, so that is called unpack. And the list also uh, have some built-in methods. So uh, for example, if you want when you have defined a list, if you want add an item to a list, you can use this append method where in this parenthesis you just uh, tell which item you want to add to that list. And similarly, so if you want to remove an item, you can use this remove method. And the sort method will sort item in a list uh, based on the orders uh, with a specific order in that list. So the order is depending on the on the value type in that list. So if they are all numbers, so they are sorted uh, based on the value of the um, uh, of the item. And if they are all letters, so they will be sorted alphabetically. You can also reverse the order of the item. Uh, so for example, if you sort that one, so that is from minimal to maximal. And if you reverse, and the order will be from the maximal to the minimal. Uh, you can also um, use list to plus another list, so that will generate a new list. Uh, you can also extend the list by adding more items. So for example, uh, the method is called extend, where in this uh, parenthesis you should add the new items. So this should be another list. So this list will be added to the end of this um, original list. Uh, if you want to check whether or not an item in a list, and uh, you can use its in function. So this is a, a built-in function that in Python. Uh, if you want to check the number of the items in a list, and uh, you can also use this length function. So that is also another uh, built-in function that in Python. Okay, uh, so let's try that one in Python. So, uh, so here, let's see comment on that. So let's say we print out our list. 
which is six, two, three, four, five. So now if we add an item, so let's say my list dot append. So let's say add seven to that list. And now let's print my list. OK, so now you can see now this list, my list has uh, the number seven. OK, and if we remove that number seven, so my list dot remove and we won't remove number seven and let's print my list. OK, so now you can see number seven has been added here and now has been removed here. OK, uh, so that remove and also add. Uh, we, uh, we can also sort the values. So right now we have six, two, three, four, five. And if we see my list dot sort. OK. And after the list being sort, being sorted, let's say we print my list. And let's run it. So now you can see this list has been sorted. And because all the items in this list are numbers, so the, they are sorted based on the values of those numbers to so two, three, four, five, six. And we can also reverse this order. So let's say my list dot reverse. And let's say print my list. So now you can see right now then in this new output, you can see the order has been reversed. So the first one is number six and the last one is number two. OK, uh, so that is um, uh, re, uh, re, uh, change the order of the list. Uh, let's also try um, to plus plus two items in this list. So let's say uh, my print my list plus let's say we want to add another list and this list is has two items so that is uh, nine and also eight and now let's write so now you can see in this output okay so my list the new list uh, contains the item from the my list and also uh, contains item from this uh, this list uh, nine and also eight. Okay, uh, and also let's try the extend. Let's see my list dot extend. And this time, let's see we want to extend two items A and B. Okay, and remember in this extend method, uh, the input should be another list. Okay, and now let's print my list. OK, so now you can see for my um, for my list, uh, we have two new items. So string A and also string B. OK, and now if we want to check whether or not the, the light string A is in the list, we can use this in function. So let's say string A in my list. OK, string A, whether or not string A in my list. So we are using this in function. And if we write, you can say it is true. So A is in a string list. And if we check whether or not C is in, in a string list. OK, and if we write, and you can say it is false because string C is not in this list. Uh, we can also print number of items in the list. So if we use a length function, OK, so length function will print the number of items in this list. Remember, right now, my list, we have one, two, three, four, uh, seven items. So let's write. Now you can see exactly we have result number seven as the output.